Hey, Slaw here. Happy Saturday to you. Um, just want to talk to you about my experience so far with Twigby. And then I had a commenter uh, recommend looking at Boost Infinite. So just want to talk about that somewhat briefly. All right. So with Twigby. So I've had them for right at a week. And I've almost burnt through the first um, gig of data. So... Um, I haven't experienced my unlimited 2G experience yet, but that update's coming, I guess, next weekend. Uh, we can talk about that. But, um, but so far, it's, it's been great. Um, you know, the phone says that I'm on Verizon um, <laughs> when you look at the SIM card, so that's, that's fantastic. Um, I was actually in the car today. We were running errands, um, and I, I wasn't even driving, and um, I was just making phone calls, uh, talking to some people that I haven't talked to in a long time, which was a real treat. And um, the service was great, even in kind of a back road area. Um, so I was not on the main highway, for example, but um, still had great service uh, and enjoyed it. So I feel like I'm getting great Verizon service at a low price. I mean, we're talking $15 a month um, for that service. So given some of the um some of the bad customer service that I had with Visible. Um I'm very happy with Twigby and what they've been able to provide. Um but we can talk about my two G data uh, after my one gig of high speed allotment uh next week, like I say. Um so great so far. I am working on a promo code. Um it's a bit uh, sketchy right now because uh, really, in order to um, use the current referral program, you have to give the person that you're referring your name and your number. Uh, I don't want to put my phone number on blast, <laughs> and I wouldn't imagine you would either. Uh, so I'm, I'm working on that. We'll see how flexible um, they are to work with that. Um, um, I'm, I'm keeping it realistic. Uh, my expectation is somewhat low in that regard. But, uh, you know, hey, we'll see. Uh, I can ask the question. Um, okay, so then the other thing I want to talk about uh, is Boost uh, Infinite. Um, I have tested on my promo line that I have, my, my secondary line. I have tried Boost uh, before. And back in the day, you know, Boost was really good. They would offer uh, really incentives to stay with them. Um, if, you, if you're with them for so long, they would reduce your bill, for example, your monthly bill. And if you had auto pay, they would reduce it further. This was before I was with them or, or, or even tested their service. Uh, but that's attractive because in today's environment, there really is not an incentive to stick around. The incentive really is to do what I've been doing, which is have a secondary line and try promos. Um, Again, I'm expecting to see more promos uh, during the Super Bowl. I'm not expecting that, you know, it, at least one telecom will come out with a promo. I'm expecting that. But anyway, my point is this, is that we're incentivized to transfer your number. Now, I'm going to be slow to do that with my primary line just because I'm, I'm a little bit picky. I'm a little bit fanboy on Verizon. But... Um, I'll still look at options that you guys have if you want me to look at a service like, like this, for example. So, so Boost uh, Infinite, um, I took it over to their website, um, and, and currently there are two websites. One is you know the traditional Boost Mobile, uh, and then there's another for Boost uh, Infinite. Um, if I take it over to Boost Mobile, I'm seeing um, a promo. They're saying half off. Um, your your first month of service. So typically twenty five dollars, and they're telling me uh, twelve fifty per month. So they're cutting that in half um, for new customers only. Um, so I don't know if the plan is to keep Boost Mobile or if they're going to uh, eventually drop the the traditional Boost Mobile. But I'm on Boost uh, Infinite right now, and when I took it over to the um, the FAQs, um, there was a question about how are they different, but it really didn't answer the question, to be honest. Um, okay, so here it is. How is Boost Infinite different from Boost Mobile? So I open that up, uh, and it says that they are both part of DISH 
Dish's larger mission to change the way the world communicates. Um, and then it says, Boost Mobile was built on a legacy of real affordability for real people. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Boost Infinite continues that legacy into the next generation of wireless with a simple, affordable, and reliable option for everyone. So that doesn't really tell me much. Um, so they're both on the Dish Network. Uh, some further research, I looked at uh, bestphoneplans.net, um, and that's Stetson Doggett, if you haven't found him on, on YouTube yet. Um, and he lists the Boost Infinite, uh, Infinite as being on AT&T, Dish, and T-Mobile. Um, so if you want to look more into some of the, um, the specs that are, that are offered up, um, I can recommend his, his information on bestphoneplans.net. Uh, but um, I'm not at a point yet where I'm ready to test um, Boost Infinite, but one of the things that I do like about what I'm seeing, according to Stetson, is that um, it is a service that um, can operate on different networks. So if you're somebody that has an unlocked device, which I, I highly recommend, um, buying an unlocked device so it can work on, on any carrier. Um, you know, sometimes when you, even when you look at Swappa or Amazon, uh, um, it's possible for you to buy a device that's locked to either, say, T-Mobile or locked to Verizon. Um, it's a little bit tricky. Some of my best uh, experience has really been buying from the manufacturer directly. Uh, for example, buying from uh, Motorola directly. Um, I've also had good experience buying from, uh, from Google. So like Google Fi, while their plans are, are high, I would say, um, they're not very competitive. Their, their phones are unlocked. They're, they're clean from that point of view. So I've had two good experiences um, in that regard. But I do like Boost Infinite using different networks. Um, that's attractive and a selling point. And if you're shopping around, perhaps that's an option for you. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to work on the Twig the promo code for a referral link. Because so far, the service has been good. I'll give you an update again next week. Take care.